Now before you ask, yes, we have already done an ADT versus Vivint video. However, that was actually really specific. We were at CES and we were pitting the new technology at Vivint versus the new technology at ADT against each other. So that doesn't count. We wanted to do a slightly more in-depth look at ADT versus Vivint overall. So glad you're here. Let's take a look at the price, availability, equipment, and customer service of both of these companies and see which one comes out on top. Now pricing is gonna be a lot of people's first question. So ADT has a few different options to be aware of. 37 bucks a month for a landline system, 49 for a cellular. We always recommend that you go cellular over landline if you're able to. The only reason you might not be able to is maybe if you're in a rural location that doesn't have great cell reception, uh, maybe a landline is your only option at that point. But moving on, we also have $53 a month for the Pulse system. This is the system that lets you do all the smart home stuff. And then $59 a month if you want to include video in that package. All of these come with fairly lengthy contracts, something to be aware of. Now Vivint, on the other hand, has only two things that you really need to be aware of. The $40 a month package, that's for all the smart home and the security stuff. $50 a month if you want to include video. So if you're keeping track, that's about 10 bucks a month lower than what you're paying through ADT. Vivint also has a no contract option if you pay for your equipment up front. That's not something that's going to be feasible for everyone since if you do that, it's a cost that on average is gonna run you close to 2000 bucks to get all that equipment. But if you can do that, you can lower that monthly, uh, that monthly fee and have a no contract option. So the winner on this one, as far as pricing goes, I'm giving it to Vivint. They have a simpler and a cheaper uh, pricing structure and having a no contract option, even if it's difficult to get to for most people, having the option is nice. Now both Vivint and ADT are available nationwide. However, as I alluded to before, Vivint does not have a landline option. So if you're in a rural location and you don't have great cell coverage, Vivint is not going to be a great option for you. So for most people, you can get either one and that's fine. But the winner in this category, I'm definitely going with ADT, simply because they do cover more of the country. Now, both of these companies have well-designed equipment. I prefer Vivint's design, but that's just me. That's my aesthetic. Maybe it's not for you. For instance, Vivint's video doorbell, I think is a little slicker, a little sleeker. ADT uses the Ring video doorbell, which is nice, but it's also fairly big and bulky. It just, it's tougher to get on a door jam. So I prefer Vivint when it comes to their design. Now, there are a couple of things that both companies do that the others don't. Uh, for instance, ADT has a pet sensor. All of these companies, if you put a motion detector, for instance, in your house, there will be a pet sensor and it'll say anything up to 40 or 50 pounds, don't register that and that's fine. ADT's pet sensor can go all the way up to 80 pounds. So if you have a big dog, that's gonna be a plus for you and something that ADT does that the others don't. On Vivint's side of things, they have something that I think is really slick. It's called Ping. It's a two-way video calling indoor camera. So the way that this works is that there's a button on the camera itself and it connects to the app and you can push either one and start a video conversation. So this is gonna be really valuable to families with kids they wanna keep track of. Uh, you know, maybe you need to keep in touch with them or they have a question for you while you're out. Having that two-way video calling in your indoor camera is really slick. As far as I can tell, it's unique. I don't know of anybody else who's doing that. So I love Ping. So the winner when it comes to equipment, I'm giving this one to Vivint. I, I do like the pet sensor from ADT, but ultimately I think Ping is gonna be more useful to more people. So winner on this one, Vivint. All right, let's talk about customer service. Customer service, in neither case is it going to be great. In fact, both companies have pretty bad reputations and both of them have kind of earned those. Vivint, when it comes to Vivint, they have a pretty bad sales reputation. They do a lot of summer sales, people going door to door trying to sell Vivint. Uh, word of advice for you, when it comes to your security system, don't buy any security system from somebody going door to door. You should be doing your own research on that, uh, obviously even beyond what this video is gonna tell you. So don't buy home security from somebody going door to door and you should be okay. As far as when you get the system installed, Vivint isn't quite as bad at that point, but even then we hear some, some horror stories, but that's kind of 
par for the course with almost any company. When it comes to ADT and their customer service, the problem here is the same thing as certain cable companies or cell phone companies that will go unnamed at this point. But ADT is just a huge, they're a huge company with a huge customer base. At a certain point, you're just too big to probably be effective. Uh, ADT suffers from that and so they have a rough time with customer service. As far as a winner for this category, I'm actually going to call this one a draw. Both of them uh, don't have awesome customer service. If, you, if that's what you're looking for in your home security system, you're probably going to want to keep looking. There are some other companies out there that are known for their great customer service. Uh, these aren't two of them though. Now for our overall winner in the ADT versus Vivint battle, I'm going to go ahead and give this one to Vivint. Both, both companies have a strong showing and I like ADT a lot, but ultimately the little innovations and the design elements that Vivint brings to the table, I think put it ahead. I, I've already mentioned Ping, one of my favorite features about that. Uh, so those little things really put Vivint ahead. If I were recommending something to, to somebody, I would go with Vivint on this one. Uh, even the price point is a little bit lower than you might get with ADT. So anyway, I want to know what you think. Head to the comments below. Obviously, after you've liked and subscribed, everybody, head to the comments below and let me know why you think I'm wrong or why you think I'm right, if you're awesome. And uh, we'll see you for the next video. Thanks for watching, everybody.